This is a new receiver design. It's a simple direct conversion receiver based around a SA602 chip. Pretty straightforward. I have a frequency control here. You can hear a world band radio. Here's the Morse code region of 40 meters. And the antenna is just a wire going to a paper clip up into a dipole on top of the building here. And we have tuning for the uh, filter, the front end filter. It's a ResNet filter. And something interesting about this design, compared to some of the others I've made, is that it doesn't use any capacitors. Everything is completely electrically induced. Uh, you can see these are potentiometers. So we're adjusting we're adjusting voltage instead of capacitance. And that voltage is going to some LEDs, which are reverse biased and acting as capacitors. The capacitance of these reverse biased diodes varies inversely with the amount of voltage applied to them. The SA602 is a chip right in the middle. It is buried deep in there. And that SA602 mixes the incoming RF with the local oscillator, which is a tuned circuit, and it releases the audio through this headphone connector going to the speakers. But the oscillator is also tapped into with this really high impedance circuit here. We have a uh, buffer chip, a 74HC240, which takes the oscillator signal and converts it to square waves. So we have 5 volt square waves being produced on this pin right here. Now it's not doing anything right now, but it's very easy to turn these 5 volt square waves into an amplified signal that we can use to transmit on whatever frequency we're listening to or those 5 volt square waves could be used to power a frequency counter so we know exactly which frequency we're tuned to. So that's the summary of my receiver and its current state. I hope to add an extra switch, which I haven't done yet, to allow me to switch bands. Right now this is somewhat limited. But it's a good start.